G'day, g'day. It's a bloody gorgeous day here in Christchurch, New Zealand today. And it's been a bit manky with the old weather recently, which is part of the reason why I haven't run any engines, done any updates, because, you know, you kind of need to have the windows open for these things, the amount of oil I put in them. Um, I want to do a progress shoot uh, where I've got with this one with regards to tweaking the um, governor, which turned out to not be the issue with the multiple firing that I didn't want. Okay, so it feels like it needs a bit of adjustment. The other thing I want to mention to you guys is I did get um, tools. I got tools. I got some great tools. A while ago, somebody uh, commented on the channel that um, good tools were an absolute joy, and he recommended Weha. Weha! I've made this thing to sit them in. These are the Weha um tools that match the hex sockets what does it say here amazon.com okay we've got screwdriver set hex metric with precision the handle 0.7 to 3 millimeter 7 piece 2850 on amazon that's these ones and might i just say what a revelation the fit is so good the fit is so good the magnetism is so good the um, handles hold on so well. You know, absolute joy to use these long ones. If you have to tighten up uh, the little grub screws in the wheels or the timing wheels, uh, valve timing wheels, this is the very expensive Master Technician ratchet and micro bit bits set hundred dollars ninety eight dollars and four cents let's have a look at that uh, my point was really that if you have to buy any tools uh to go with your model engines i think a set of these hex drivers as uh, mini drivers is absolutely necessary these would be um more advanced but now that i've got them i think they're necessary if you're going to make any stuff Mechanically, of course, you need something like this. Why has it taken me so long? I've just kind of worked my way around it. Looks very pleased with himself. That's it, you know. Adjustable top. That adjustable top helps me see how far the pin is going to go in and out.
So, it was the old adjustable top idea. The little screw helps me adjust how high up this is. That adjusts how far in and out this pin is going. And that's, for me, has fixed it. Running warm, but not hot, which is exactly what we want on this engine. And it sounds like it's ticking over rather than just dying and speeding up and being variable. That is incredible what a difference that has made.